Hey guys, this is GB Wang, and today I'm going to be showing you a very fun build that I like to do in my ZVP matchups. And this build is kind of like a it's kind of like a middle finger to all of those Protoss players who try to harass your SCVs or who have um, blocked your, your hatcheries or have, like cannoned your hatcheries and stuff. This is a way to get back at them. And it's a, it's a build that's surprisingly easy to... Well, it's not easy to use, but it is surprisingly effective and it shuts down most uh, most Diamond players with with ease. And what I call this is like the, um, the face hatch or the hatchery of disrespect because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be planting a hatchery in their base right in plain sight and there's going to be nothing that they can do about it. And uh, there's the hatchery actually serves a, um, a lot of useful purposes as well, but for this video I'm going to show you how to execute this build. So you saw me play, put down an extractor trick and what I was doing is an 11-10 over pull. So when you get 10 drones you, um, you make an extractor and then you make another drone so that way you have 11 drones and then you, you cancel that extractor place down a spawning pool and then get an overlord. The overlord helps you with your vision and it's going to free up um, supply because you're going to be um you're going to be harassing his base with zerglings very quickly. And so this build actually works really well on the current version of Metalopolis and Shatter Temple because there's only uh, there's on, only two places where they can spawn and if if they're in close air position that's actually even better for this build because you can get reinforcements a little bit faster. So in this case even though I'm zerg sometimes you can hide the um, the close air overlord so they don't know exactly where you are but you want to know exactly where they are sooner rather than later so I put the overlord right there in their face they can see it and once the pool comes up or actually when the pool is being built you want to have 12 drones and then when the pool comes up you want to make uh, th three lings, a queen, and you want to immediately, while the lings are being built, you want to send a drone over to their base. And if you want to sneak the drone inside of their base and actually plant a hatchery, and it's actually pretty hilarious. So what I did, and but this build does require some some good micro though. So I have five lings over here. I took one ling o over on this side because I was afraid that Protoss threw down a proxy pylon, so I used it to scout. But here we go. I'm in his base, and I just threw down a hatchery. And so there's probably a lot of surprise in the Protoss player's face, but there isn't much he can do about it. And so when you when you get here, in this situation, the way that his base was built, you want to get at that pylon first, or if you can get a surround on that zealot, try to take out that zealot. And so you can see that zealot is almost dead, and there it goes. And so now you want to keep... Um, you you want to engage the probes in such a way that you don't get a surround as well. That was part of the reason why I pulled them back. But now the zealot the zealot is out here, but it's okay because you're going to keep flooding flooding him with zerglings. And so he's kind of in a sticky situation. It's like if he's not going to attack the hatchery, the hatchery is going to come up. And once that creep starts to spread, when you destroy his buildings, there's no way for him to rebuild on there. So he's going to be in a lot of trouble. But you also want to conserve your lings in this build. It's very pre it's um like if you lose too many lings you've pretty much lost the game so it's a very finicky kind of build and then make sure you're keeping up with the injects and constantly reinforce with lings when you get like a little wad of lings that's your cue to attack again so the reason why I keep hitting this pylon too is I don't want the shield to regenerate so I can break it down but as you can see the um, the hatchery has come up now I've broken the pylon his gateway is disabled and you can just keep reinforcing this area with lings but as, as you can see as the creep is starting to spread, um, you can you can uh, you're going to prevent him from being able to to rebuild. And I have a queen being built right now, as well as some more lings that are going to reinforce. So now there's no way that he can block you off, and that's really the only thing that keeps Protoss alive at this point in time, um, like in the early game. And so you know now it's like the game is pretty much yours. It's scorched earth, and he has no units. <laughs> and now it's just kind of probes like floating around. And once you get enough enough units, you can just kill all of the probes. And so a very very effective build. But this is a, it's a, also a very micro intensive build, but pretty fun too. And as you can see, the queen is up now. You can use the queen to start spreading more creep to prevent him from. Uh, um, from 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 building in the area, or you can 
um, you know, like inject larva, and that way you can get another burst of zerglings to kill him. And so this is actually a really fun build. It is very effective, but you do have to work on your Ling Micro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to post up another um, another replay too pretty soon, and it's going to show um, kind of a less favorable situation that I was in with this build, and um, I'll give you some additional pointers for it as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening.